Ott. President Trump is pledging to support U.S. industries hit hard, and he's promised aid to the travel sector. Earlier, he said this. We will be helping the airline industry. We will be helping the cruise ship industry. We probably will be helping the hotel industry. We'll probably be where, where jobs are created. You don't want to lose industries like this. These are incredible industries. You can't lose them. Joining me now to talk about this is Sarah Nelson. Uh, she is the international president of the Association of Flight Attendants. She joins me now. Sarah, um, you've, I've read what you've written and, and the letters that you've sent. Uh, if help is given to the airline industry, what sort of restrictions or strings do you think there needs to be to make sure the money gets spent properly? Well, I think, Richard, that we need to think even broader than that. We need to think about the fact that every other time that there has been a bailout uh, that has gone to corporate, corporations and banks, real people have not gotten the help that they need. And especially in a crisis like this, a health care crisis, we need as many people who are strong mm -hmm. and healthy to be able to help themselves so we can focus on the sick and vulnerable and attack the crisis. Right. So that is why we have put forward a plan that says that the economic package needs to start first with a payroll package to keep the paychecks going. We don't need the federal government to be the HR solution. We can use these companies, especially in the airline industry as a template, to continue the paychecks right. through a payroll subsidy from the government. But no, I mean, in, in, it's an industry uh, that, that that has completely been destroyed to some of the, the, the route networks. To look at the amount of uh, route slashing, and your members must be extremely badly hit by this, some of them not knowing whether they're going to have a paycheck next week. This is really, really bad, Richard. And in fact, we've had two airlines that have fallen casually, casualty to it just today. Um, the airlines will run out of money for payroll in two months, if not a couple weeks, and some of them sooner than that. And this, think about this, 30 days ago, United Airlines was announcing a training academy. They were, the airlines were planning to hire 100,000 people. Delta Airlines was celebrating its profits with checks to its employees. Right. And in 30 days time, they are going to run, they are in a place okay. where they're going to run out of cash. Uh, Sarah, I, the blame game is never nice, and it's probably the inappropriate now, but the critics who say don't bail out the airlines because they wasted so much money on their own share buybacks, the same thing with Boeing. Um, what would you say to somebody, I've got dozens of emails, by the way, telling me don't yep. bail out the industry, they, they shouldn't have done share buybacks. Okay, so we agree. They shouldn't have done share buybacks, and we fought them every single time. And that's why our relief package is focused on workers first, continuing the paychecks and loans from the government with certain stipulations. They must agree to no stock buybacks. Uh, we need to have a cap on executive comp and no bonuses during this time, no dividends. And they also need to not spend any money on fighting their unions. We also need to make sure that this package makes sure that there's no breaking union contracts. Do you do you fear that one of the majors and the four big ones, you know, United, American, Delta, Southwest, and we can put in a couple of others as well. Do you do you fear, bearing in mind what we're hearing, one of them could go would would not not go out of business, but would need to seek protection from Chapter Eleven? Uh, this is bigger than any crisis we've seen in the past, so it's well beyond that, Richard. We are days away from a collapse if we don't do something, and that's why Congress is taking it very seriously. That's why I'm spending all my time today uh, and right. throughout the weekend working on this package. Sarah, thank you. Good to see you in such difficult circumstances. Let's stay in touch so we know and we can follow what's happening in the future. I appreciate it.